With that, we welcome you out to Story Gymnasium. Game two of our double dip as the Golden Eagle men now looking to try and uh, go perfect on the weekend. They picked up a big win last night against Northwest College. Now looking to try and uh, keep that going against a team that they dropped their contest on the road at Central Wyoming. And getting a little bit of revenge is the hope for the Golden Eagles. They lose the opening tip, but set up on defense, which played fantastically yesterday in that second half of play. Look to keep that up against the wrestlers who turned the ball over trying to feed it underneath to Julian Roberts on the baseline. I mean, that actually is Sam Marbury on the baseline and L Triple C will walk back the other way with a chance to strike first on the board. Full court pressure beaten by EJ Scroggins. And Scroggins will trade off with Phoenix Bullock near the half court stripe. Man to man defense De La Cruz picks up Scroggins Outside the three-point line. Now Abdullah Muhammad tries to attack himself. Goes against Roberts and is fouled on his way to the hoop. Chance to shoot some free throws for Abdullah. We'll see if they get Roberts with it. I believe they will. There was a second one there. And they actually say that's on De La Cruz. As he came in from the other side trying to strip it away from the six foot ten big man for the Golden Eagles. Golden Eagles not playing for the rebound as they're trying to Show some confidence in their shooters with nobody around them at the line other than white jerseys. Muhammad notches home the first and notches home the second one as well. The confidence well deserved on that one. Golden Eagles jump out in front 2 nothing with the early advantage. De La Cruz goes underneath Roberts up and under and travels with the basketball. The double team swarmed them. Muhammad and Bullock able to force the turnover. Two turnovers on two possessions for Central Wyoming and L-Trip a chance to build it to a two-possession lead if they can get a basket here. Davion Butler centers things up between the circles, now dribbles it over to the right side. EJ, or excuse me, Ellery, that three ball is good. He had a career high last night, feeling good about it as Butler gets the assist and Ellery finds the bottom of the hoop. 24-point performance for Ellery in last night's game just behind Butler who had 27 points, both of them career highs in that game yesterday against the Trappers of Central Wyoming. That's gonna answer back as a two point ball from Marbury is gonna get the wrestlers onto the board. Full court pressure continuing to be applied by Central Wyoming. Ellery gets it up top to Bullock. Jab step with the right foot before it's fed down low to Abdullah Muhammad. Rips the ball through, spins one way up and under, lays it up and in. Nice moves on the post for Abdullah Muhammad as he picks up his first field goal of the game. Leads the Golden Eagles in scoring with four. Early going of this one, Roberts takes it up top. Golden Eagles have scored on all three of their opening possessions. Bounce pass to Roberts, pulls him out of the paint. He'll direct it away to De La Cruz, now stolen away by Scroggins. He wants to get out and run the ball, gets it into the paint, wings it outside. Bullock open for three, skips off of the rim, no good. And the Golden Eagles will have to settle back on defense after the third turnover that they forced on the Rustlers in their first four possessions. Seven to two, five point lead for the Golden Eagles. Marbury feeds it to De La Cruz underneath run. He's gonna be fouled as he goes for the reverse layup with 7.35 to go. Foul will be picked up by Phoenix Bullock on the play. So Bullock picks up the first team foul on the Golden Eagles this afternoon. 
De La Cruz will step to the line where he misses the front end of his first two free throws. Lead will stay at least at four for El Trip. Golden Eagle starting to bounce back from some rotation changes that they needed to make due to injuries and players off of the team. Since then, they've been able to really kind of find that groove again with some key players, Roundtree, as well as Chua, no longer able to contribute this year. And you lost about 15 rebounds between the two of them and about 25 points between the two of them. But they've started to figure out some new players to get involved, including Abdullah Muhammad, who takes the ball tipped away from Scroggins and slams it home over the top of Marbury to build the lead up to six. Game high advantage for the Golden Eagles, nine to three here in these opening three minutes. De La Cruz on the right side, floats the ball up over the top of Butler. He'll get tangled up as the switch through. De La Cruz, though, sees Butler get back in front of him. He'll drive past him, can't hit the shot, and the rebound picked up by Muhammad as he's able to tip that one out to Butler. Golden Eagles run it up to Ellery. Three ball off the side of the rim. Just kicks wide as King Solomon picks up the basketball. Freshman King Solomon out of Sacramento, California, hands the ball off to De La Cruz. And the Canadian backs it up to the top of the key. Rustlers offensively spread around from everywhere. There's a foul called on E.J. Scroggins. He gets tangled up with Marbury outside of the three-point line. And now being the first subs of the game for Central Wyoming onto the court, Tay Hollins, as well as Lucas Engel, will sub onto the court. Roberts will take a seat, as does... I believe Marbury. Uh, Marbury still on the court. He'll still dribble that one to the free throw line. Learnley has it tipped away by Butler, able to fight through that and slay that one up into the hoop. And the Golden Eagles will see the lead cut back to four on Marbury's second basket of the game. That full court pressure still being applied by Central Wyoming as Bullock takes it right side. Hills get into the lane. Steps through, tied up inside of the painted area. It's going to stay Golden Eagle basketball, though as they got the possession arrow on their side. And they'll have the inbounds play underneath their own basket. Jordan Reed will take the opportunity to sub back onto the court. Coming in as a sixth man. Again, he's dealt with a little bit of injury issues these last three or four weeks. They get him onto the court again as Muhammad inside is going to get fouled as he was able to swim his way through a couple of different rustlers and steps to the line for another two free throws. He's having a career day so far, just the first half, six points. Already over his season average, averages five points, five rebounds a game. Rebounding-wise, those numbers have been really moving up as he's been the only post for the Golden Eagles this year since the loss of Cameron Roundtree. Scoring numbers, those also starting to increase a little bit more. I know in practices, Coach Salisbury has been working with him on becoming a bit more assertive down low, a bit stronger down low. He's already got the athleticism to move, now trying to work on him being a bit more of that dominant post presence. Second free throw, no good. Golden Eagles doubling up the Central Wyoming Rustlers. The ball is going to be fed left side. Hollins, pump fake before moving it outside. It's Marbury for another three, no good. And the rebound bounces out to Davion Butler for his first. Jogs it up across the half-court stripe. Sees a screen set for him all the way to the hoop, lays it up and in. The burst of speed by Butler, and he's onto the board for the first time with his opening two. 12 to 5, L Trip up by seven. Largest lead of the game for the Golden Eagles. As the ball moved outside to Solomon. Freshman at six foot. Goes over to the left. Marbury hands the ball off, taken by Engel. Golden Eagles switching off on everything. See the ball go down to the baseline. Robert, or excuse me, Marbury spins away on EJ Scroggins, can't hit the shot, and the rebound is going to be secured by Abdullah Muhammad for the Golden Eagles as we tick underneath 15 minutes to play. First half action. L Trip looking to try and build the lead to nine. Scroggins leaves his first attempt short, tips the second one up and in on the offensive board, and Scroggins gets onto the board as the fourth Golden Eagle to score. It's a nine point advantage. Coach Brad Schmidt content to let the game play out as it is right now as his team is trying to find its offensive rhythm. Moves the ball underneath the baseline. They'll go back around to the corner where Marbury tries the three, and that's good. 
The big man can shoot. Now the timeout's going to be taken by the Rustlers. Schmidt just wants a 30. We'll let him have it. We'll be back after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Back out after the timeout, 14-20 to go. Six-point lead for the Golden Eagles. They'll have possession, working right to left on your video screens. Blue uniforms on Blue Out Day, brought to you by Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Golden Eagles will float a ball deep to end up breaking the press and give it outside to DB. Looks to the baseline. Scroggins takes the ball down low, and he'll try and work against Hollins. Tay. Forces him to the inside. Outside they find Rob or Justin Daniels who misses that one off the side of the rim. And there's Roberts for the rebound as the wrestlers can make some waves here and build a double possession run if they get a basket on this trip. King Solomon steps back. They'll swing the ball out to the left side where Hollins wants to find Roberts inside. He'll be held on to. I think that's going to be Michael Amako who ends up getting called for the foul, and it will be an Amico, excuse me, comes away with his first foul, and we got the under 14 media timeout. We'll take it with them as well. Good start to this one for both teams, 14 to eight, El Trippin top by six, but the Rustlers closing it back down from a nine point game with their last basket. We'll be back with more after this as well in El Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. Quick timeout break. Golden Eagles will be on defense as we welcome you back out to Story Gym. L Triple C with the six point advantage over the Rustlers. Roberts inside, fades away. He's going to get fouled, leaves it short off of the front of the rim. Quick shot, just three seconds came off of the game clock, and Roberts earns the trip to the free throw line. Foul picked up on the play by Amico again. Two quick fouls after a brief stint onto the court, so he'll have to sub out for a moment. And it'll be Abdullah Muhammad who will come on for him. Tough when you get those early foul calls against you, and that's just, again, a tough break for Amico as Roberts notches home the first free throw, makes it 14-9. to nine. Daniels, Muhammad, Bullock, Reed, and Butler the five for the Golden Eagles. We're in the Blues at home as both free throws go down. It's now a four-point game, a 5-0 run to answer back to a 14-5 lead by the Golden Eagles in the opening five minutes. Butler will take the ball in between the rings, and now they slow it down. Jordan Reed wants to attack, sees the elbow, and gets cut off and feeds it to Bullock. Back outside the three-point line, Daniels from 24 skips one off of the rim. Just a little bit cold on the shot, and the Golden Eagles have to hustle back on defense as Dugan Maraboto comes away with the rebound. His first as he's onto the court for the first time. Inside they feed it to Roberts. Big bounce pass, and skipped over to the corner where the ball tipped out of play going for the rebound. Underneath the ball, it was Angle who ended up going for it, and L Triple C will take the ball back and say thank you for the chance to reestablish our offense. I haven't scored for the last two minutes and 
looking to change that as Reed and Butler will play a two-man game to break the press. Decent crowd on the far side here for the blue out. Lots of fans got the word and got the message. Plenty of blue over on that far sideline as Bullock fights in, and they're going to say a travel on Phoenix to turn the ball back over to the Rustlers. I have that as the first turnover of the game for the Golden Eagles. As they have been fairly consistent with not giving the ball away to the Rustlers in this one. But the Rustlers chipping back into the game. As they move the ball, near side Roberts fakes a pass that way, now goes back over to Marbury. De La Cruz to Marbury, now Roberts. Extended from the baseline. And he'll take this one in. Spins left, goes, or excuse me, spins right, goes left, misses the shot. Rebound goes to Davion Butler on the run. Feeds it to Reed. No good. First offensive rebound by Muhammad. No good. Blocked on his second attempt going up. Got a couple of offensive boards there. Stays L Trip basketball. And it looks like it'll be Butler to start the action for the Golden Eagles on the baseline. To the right side, Bullock. Goes up top to Reed. Wants to attack. Finds Butler again in the corner. His three ball nicely done. Settled through. First triple of the game for Butler. Reed onto the board with the assist. Gets into the scorebooks to get the lead back up to seven. Game high of nine for the Golden Eagles and a chance to get back there as Butler gets another rebound. Golden Eagles want to run. Daniels goes backside to Bullock. He lays one in from the baseline. Daniels with a nice little assist and Bullock becomes another Golden Eagle to crack the scoreboard. They're back up by nine again. 19 to 10. Answering back to the 5-0 run of the Rustlers with a 5-0 run of their own. Inside pass, though, to Marbury. Closes that run off. He's going to lay that one through. Marbury's got nine of the first 12 points for the Rustlers as we tick under 11 and a half to go. Closer to 11 minutes than 11.30, though, as Butler spots up a three. That's good. In the grill of the defense, Butler, eight points, nearly perfect from the field to start things out. He has been on a vibe these last couple of weeks. 20 points in each of his last three games at least. The Golden Eagles save the ball from going out of bounds. Reed able to tip it to Phoenix Bullock. Gets on the run. Phoenix doesn't slow down, and that's going to cost him the offensive foul. Charged right into the paint where Doug Maraboto was set up. And Bullock picks up his second foul on just, as I said, the second turnover by the Golden Eagles. Scroggins will sub onto the court for Laramie County Community College. 10.40 to go. And the ball will be brought forward by King Solomon as he takes over the point. Over the half court stripe with 10 and a half left. Roberts moves over to De La Cruz. Goes between the legs on the dribble once. Now Roberts attacks on the baseline, fakes a few passes, fades away, settles that one through. Nice play by Roberts, who the first time these two teams played was the thorn in the side for the Golden Eagles. It's been held quieter this time, four points. Really, this time it's been Marbury who's been the big weapon. Hand off to Daniels, gets forced outside of the three-point line by Jaden Warren. They'll go back inside to Muhammad, who slips one over the top of the rim. Nice job by Muhammad, who's now got nine points for El Trip to lead all scorers on their side, one ahead of Davion Butler. Nine minutes and 48 seconds to go. De La Cruz drives right side, pulls up in the lane, three ball from the wing by King Solomon is buried. That was good defense by the Golden Eagles as well on that play, but King Solomon... He's one of those catch-and-shoot guys that can definitely put points up in a hurry. He's also good at driving under the attacks. So you got to give him a space. Ends up taking advantage of it there. Daniels trying to take advantage of the three. Drops another one down, and the Golden Eagles answer right back. Scroggins gets the assist, and Daniels onto the board for the first time with points. 27-17, L Trip holding on to that 10-point lead as they force the miss from Roberts. Rebound picked up by Scroggins. Up ahead to Reed. He'll feed it back over to the far side. Daniels 
catch and shoot, no, catch and pause and shoot. He notches that home for back-to-back -back triples as Butler picks up another assist and L Trip starting to pull away as they get themselves a 13-point advantage as we take a timeout with the Rustlers on L Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. Golden Eagle men leading by 13 points. Just under nine minutes to go in the first half of action here at Story Gymnasium. A fun one so far for the Golden Eagle men. They've been raining some threes down. Started with the Ellery three to open up their scoring from the field. And that was a foul called. Sees Lucas Engel step to the free throw line. They seen DB fire up for a pair of threes. And Justin Daniels join with a pair of threes. No free throws, foul on the floor is the foul called on Abdullah Muhammad. Just the sixth team foul on the Golden Eagles, so no free throws yet. Nearly they get the steal. King Solomon fed the ball in the right corner. He'll step back on the wing for three and answers back himself. Daniels with the basketball. He's going to get fouled. That one goes, I believe they're going to whistle that one on Jaden Warren. First foul on him, third team foul on the Rustlers. And Reed will do the inbounding. Reed calling for somebody to come closer to him. Gets it to Abdullah Muhammad, and they're going to call a over and back violation. And Coach Dwayne Sauls, but th there's too many lines on the court here sometimes for the officials even. I think that they got confused as well on that one. Abdullah Muhammad was standing behind the volleyball court lines. Reed came forward. They say that Reed stepped on the half court stripe, hadn't fully established himself in the front court, so the turnover does happen. You're not going to change it. Golden Eagles have to settle back on defense. Pass inside. That's a way to get it back, though. Daniels steps in front of the pass, feeds it to Reed, euros himself into the lane, can't finish the shot. Inside it's Scroggins with the rebound, and he'll fight one up for a lay in. Try, try again by Scroggins underneath the basket on the offensive board. His third rebound of the game, two of them offensive rebounds. And Laramie County Community College back up by 12. One off of the biggest lead. Solomon fires one up to try and kick back into it a bit more. Can't get it to go. Angle gets the rebound as he gives to De La Cruz. His shot off the side of the rim. And Abdullah Muhammad, as he turns the ball over, had picked up his fifth rebound of this opening half. 7.30 to go, and we've got a whistle. And it looks like the shot clock had reset to, had never reset on the steal. So they're going to put a bit more time up for Central Wyoming to work their offense. And that will bring us to the media timeout as well. 7.34 to go. We'll be back after this break. You're listening to LCCC's Golden Eagle Athletics as they lead by 12 over Central Wyoming College. Quick timeout there for the media timeout. Golden Eagles on defense. Rustlers will have the basketball top of the key. Durham Maraboto gets the ball outside to King Solomon. 
Left side, they go back into the corner. Marbury looks underneath the basket, throws the ball away though as Daniels steps in for a steal. Laramie County, chance to get the lead up to the biggest has been all game long. Seven minutes and 10 seconds to go. Ball goes to Scroggins, now outside to Reed. Roberts getting set to sub back onto the court for the Rustlers who have trailed the entirety of this game. Closest they've been since the opening tap has been when it was 14 to 10. L Trip started out on a 14 to 5 run. Reed will get them up by 14 now, working on his own. He gets his first basket of the game. That's the seventh Golden Eagle to score. And all but Michael Amico that has touched the court have been able to crack the scoreboard. A 14 point advantage over the Rustlers. Rustlers have already pulled off a few upsets. Defeated Casper College. They came in 3-3, three and three, I believe. Muhammad trying to block the ball away from a drive inside by King Solomon. He's going to see a foul called against Justin Daniels for reaching in. Salisbury was hoping for the tie-up. And we will take the media timeout now. I thought it had been a media timeout. So we will take the time out now as Coach Salisbury is going to use this as an opportunity to talk to the officials about the scoreboard or something up there as he's pointing up to it. And we will take a quick pause on that one, come back with more on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Six and a half to go, first half action. Being controlled by the Golden Eagles in a big way, 34 to 20. And they have their biggest lead of the game after the media timeout. Solomon at the line though to try and chip into that. We'll take a deep breath at the free throw line as it's one and one free throws. And he cannot get the second one as he leaves that one short. Scroggins gets his fourth rebound of the game and hands off to Reed to bring up. Reed will direct a bit of traffic. Brings it to the left corner. Dula Muhammad posts up to get it to him. Didn't like his feel. Now he'll post up again. Three ball by Reed. Skips long and back outside it goes to Sam Marbury. We mind to six minutes to go in the opening frame of this one. Marbury trying to drive the right side, gets inside against Scroggins and fights his way in for the layup. Sam's got 11 points already. Half of the offense for the Rustlers coming from the freshman, or excuse me, yeah, the freshman at 6'6". Reed inside, pulls the dribble up, gives back to EJ Scroggins, inside drive. Reed keeps the ball going to Daniels, in motion three is good. Justin Daniels, three triples in the game. He's got nine points and the lead up to 15 for the Golden Eagles. 5.21 to go. Little trip continuing to just slowly keep that lead increasing. Building onto it, hit by hit from beyond the three point line. This is a team that knows their offense is gonna hit at some point in time and sometimes it just whirs right from the beginning. That's been the case this evening or this afternoon rather. Roberts turns around, left-handed. Little baby hook is good. Julian's got six points. L Trip still leading big. We'll bring it forward as Pedro Ellery, who's returned back onto the court, feeds it to Reed. Reed underhands that one to Abdullah Muhammad, and he's gonna be fouled from the backside. Roberts can't believe it, but it's Lucas Engel who picks up the foul. That's the fourth. and. Dula Muhammad to the line for two more free throws. Fourth team foul against the Rustlers. And with 444, the clock stops as Muhammad notches home the free throw. He is the first Golden Eagle to double figures. 
10 points, four coming from the stripe. One more coming up. And can't hit the second one, skips out to the near side. Stays a 14 point advantage, 38-24 after the trip to the line. Roberts sets the screen for Marbury. Tries to drive on Muhammad. He'll get all the way to the hoop. Blocked out of bounds by the big man. Abdullah putting up a wall inside. Can't get past it. Ellery was also there helping out on the defense as Muhammad was the one who was able to finish it off to the back wall. Stays with the Rustlers with four and a half to go. Inbounds play. Sent to Marbury. By the way, Davion Butler onto the court for Jordan Reed. Muhammad switches over onto King Solomon with him. Goes out on Roberts now. Good defensive work by the Golden Eagles. Solomon rises for three again. That's no good at the horn. And Scroggins picks up rebound number five. Up ahead to Daniels. Outside pass. Stolen away. Five turnovers now by the Golden Eagles. But they get it right back. Scroggins picks off the pass. He'll give it over to Ellery for another triple. Pedro feeling it for his second triple of the game. Scroggins with two steals and two assists, finding multiple ways to get involved, has lead up to a game-high 17 for El Trip. 41-24, to 24, the defense playing locked down. Near side, Solomon skips the ball off of the rim, scooped up by Ellery on the back side, and El Trip going to try and slow that pace down just a little bit more in order to kind of run the offense and keep themselves fresh as now it's Ellery feeding a little pass inside. He got the pass from somebody. This time gets it back over to Abdullah Muhammad, who's got 12. Leading score, as I said, for the Golden Eagles, a consistent threat inside. And now you got the offensive foul called against the Rustlers on a moving screen. And Daniels, or excuse me, Roberts gets picked up for that one. Their fifth team foul will give the ball back over to the Golden Eagles on a turnover. A 19-point advantage for El Trip. 43-24. This first half has been just one giant run for the Golden Eagles. Butler will drive inside. He'll go up for the reverse. That one bounces in somehow. Dance that one into the rim. Butler hits double figures with 10. 45-24. Golden Eagles on top by 21. Inside to Roberts. He'll baby hook one up, and he's going to get fouled. Took a big step through the lane. Gets the basket and the contact. As Abdullah picks up his second foul. They'll sub him out with the lead that they got right now. They're going to be cautious with him right now. You don't want to lose your other big man with three fouls, as Amico already has two fouls as well. 45-24 before the Rustlers could cut into the lead. They do get another basket here as the, excuse me, 45-27 as they get another basket there. Or three throw good by Roberts, who's got nine. Scroggins breaks the press to Daniels. And now they'll back the ball out away. And it'll be Butler to start the action. Daniels near side, seven on the shot clock, fires up a three, leaves it just a little bit short off of the front of the rim. Rustlers, who are back within 18, bring it forward. De La Cruz hesitates, nearly gets Ellery to bite, but Ellery stays down. Ball floated up over the top to Roberts. Defense flies by, and the Golden Eagles see the lead trim back down to six. Roberts up to 11 points. He and Sam Marbury, again, those are the only two really making major waves for the Rustlers as Butler takes it near side. Quick fire, that one just kicks out. Nice pass by Scroggins, but just unable to find Paydirt. And L Triple C will have to settle for the 16-point lead that they still have. De La Cruz. Looks left. Solomon wants to give it back up to Marbury and does. L Trip still in that man-to-man. -man. You don't see them play zone a whole lot on the season, and they're going to turn the ball over to the Rustlers as they couldn't figure out that man-to-man -man defense. Another one sent outside of the reach of Roberts, who was trying to get free of Ellery down on the baseline. Daniels and the Golden Eagles break the 2-2-1 full-court press easily. Daniels to Ellery, just a bit strong by Pedro. 
Stays a 16-point game once again. 0 for 2 on the last couple of trips down the court for the Golden Eagles, trying to take some threes. Inside drive, up try by Warren. It's going to be pushed back out beyond the three-point line. De La Cruz keeps it to King Solomon. He'll get fouled on the floor. I think they got Phoenix Bullock for this one. And that's going to be more free throws coming up as Bullock picks up his third. Ninth team foul on the Golden Eagles, and Michael Amico will step off of the bench and back onto the court. Phoenix was trying to take in that big man role for Abdullah Muhammad and had to switch off onto King Solomon, who's got one and one free throws again. Last time he was here in this position, he missed the front end. And did we just get a technical? On the bench, Dwayne Salisbury picking up the tee. He's been frustrated with the coach or the officiating, particularly one official so far. As we'll see the free throws coming up, so we'll see who takes the one free throw and see how they do this. So they were going to have White shoot free throws in front of their own basket. Now they're going to take them on this other side. I think King Solomon's going to take all of them. So these are the technical free throws first. And he notches the front end. One more coming up. 15-point game now. One oh one to go in the second free throw, also good. So now we've got the technicals out of the way. And now we've got one and one free throws coming up. Salisbury still getting warnings from that far side official who says he's had enough. As the first of the one and ones is good, he'll get another one. It's a big swing for the Rustlers right now. It's what was a 21-point lead cut down now to 12. It's a nine-point run by the Rustlers. Pedro Ellery will get the inbounds play, and the Golden Eagles will cross it with Justin Daniels at the timeline. Daniels nearly travels, able to keep his foot down before he... Ended up picking it up. Finds Daniels, or excuse me, Butler. He'll go right side. Now we got a foul called, I think, on De La Cruz. And he's got the hold. So that goes against, as I said, De La Cruz for his second. And the Golden Eagles will inbound from the near side with 39.7 seconds to go. Butler takes the inbounds play, fresh 20. And we've got another whistle, and this one's going to be a moving screen on Michael Amico to turn the ball over. Third foul on Amico, sixth turnover by the Golden Eagles with 36 seconds still left to go. And the inbounds play goes to De La Cruz. Rustlers can't hold for the final shot, but they can just about do that. Four-second difference, or excuse me, a six-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. They have a chance to cut this down to single digits or at least a 10-point game. It's a 9-0 run for the Rustlers trying to finish off this first half of play. 10 on the shot clock. De La Cruz cuts inside, lays it up. Too strong off of the glass. Rebound tipped back out to De La Cruz. Shot clock off with eight seconds to go. Marbury, he'll have one more opportunity. Drives inside the link. Kick pass to the left corner for three. No good. And as the horn sounds, the Rustlers will head in at the half with a 12-point deficit when we come back on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. It's 45-33 here at Story Gymnasium.
We are just about set for the start of the second half of action. Golden Eagles, good spot right now, up 12, despite a 9-0 run by the Rustlers to close out the first half of action. We'll see if the Golden Eagles can make that stand up as they get set for half number two. 45 to 33. Abdullah Muhammad leading the way for the Golden Eagles with 12. 10 for Davion Butler and another 9 for Justin Daniels. As those three leading the way, Rustlers will start out with the basketball. And Solomon will take it from the near side and bury a 3. So the run increases to 12 0 between the start of the two halves as the Rustlers will again set up in that full court press. Looking to trap as soon as you get across the half court stripe. Butler will bring it across, but numbers in favor of the Golden Eagles will force the wrestlers to back off. I think Butler takes the screen, gets it to Scroggins, backs his way in to the left block, now finds Ellery, near side three. That's good. Ellery gets his third triple of the game. Scroggins up to three assists now. He's had a nice game as well on that side of the ball. Nine minutes and 14 seconds to go as the ball in the hands of De La Cruz. Feeds it to Marbury on the near side. Wants to step through, gets a screen from Roberts, and now backs it away as it was too crowded and congested where he was at. He'll take it again near side, rising for a deep three. Air balls that one out of bounds. Back over to the Golden Eagles with 18.55 left to go. 12-point lead still for the Golden Eagles. as the Rustlers head back on defense. Butler finds Scroggins. EJ tries it inside to Muhammad. See if Abdullah can pick up where he left off. Tries to throw down the dunk. Got above the rim, but misses that one. Rebound tips off of the hands of Bullock on the right side and back to the Rustlers who go underneath with Marbury. Blocked away from behind. Missed who got the block. I think it was Ellery. They'll give it around instead to Roberts, and Roberts skates it back to a 10-point game as he's able to get that one to settle through. Ellery with his first block of the evening. Muhammad feeds it to Bullock. Lane open as Muhammad was extended, and Bullock slices to the lane. He's got two. Muhammad with his first assist, and Bullock up to four points. Spread the ball around here early on for the Golden Eagles. A pair of getting involved in the scoring, two different people getting involved in assists. Everybody getting a touch. So Davion Butler gets played into a foul on King Solomon. Butler picks up his first foul. Golden Eagles committed 10 total fouls in the first half and a technical foul from head coach Dwayne Salisbury. Far side, inbounds play goes into the middle where De La Cruz goes back to his right. Three ball off the rim hard. Solomon able to secure the board for another offensive look. Rustlers, that was what they did the biggest amount of damage on when these two teams played the first time around was the offensive rebounds and second chances. They do it again here as De La Cruz cuts it to single digits with his first field goal of the game, 50-41. to 41. Rustlers trimming it to a nine-point game as Butler brings it to the right side wing. Golden Eagles still striking on the offensive side, and their defense has played good stand-up basketball, but like we said, it's the offensive second chances that we've seen from the Rustlers that have been one of the big difference makers. Rebound by Solomon on the missed by Bullock. De La Cruz will try for back-to-back -back triples, gets it. Holds the pose, too, a six-point game as De La Cruz up to seven points. E.J. Scroggins will push the pace, finds Bullock. Baseline, 10-footer. Gets it to go. Nice and smooth by Phoenix. Another assist goes to EJ Scroggins, and LCCC keeps answering back when the Rustlers make a shot, but the Rustlers making more threes right now than the Golden Eagles, and that's why they've been able to cut back into the lead. Roberts gets it inside of the paint. He'll go through the defense of Muhammad. Can't get the shot to go. Muhammad hands the ball off to Butler on the run, and a whistle's going to stop the action as a foul is going to go against Marbury. I think that's his second foul, and it is. Had one in the first half. That's the first team foul against the Rustlers here in half number two. Butler will do the inbounding. And the inbounds play goes to Bullock. Backcourt feeds it to Butler, keeps the 
Clock winding to 20 seconds on the play clock. Muhammad at the elbow gives it back outside to Ellery. He can spot up from there, doesn't this time, gives it to Muhammad instead, who drives to the hoop, fires it in from above the rim, and the Golden Eagles back up by 10. Muhammad's first basket of this one, Ellery picking up the nice assist on the cut. Warren picks up his second foul because of it, and the Golden Eagles a chance to go back up by 11. Fifty to forty-four was the closest that the wrestlers have been in this half. Golden Eagles responding with a four-zero run of their own. Make it five. Muhammad, nice and smooth at the line. He's continuing to stack onto his points. Fifteen in the game, and L Triple C quickly back up fifty-five forty-four. Sixteen minutes to go as the ball goes to King Solomon. Right side, Roberts. Big man passes it down low where Marbury tries to spin a couple of times. Roberts for three. He's not going to notch that one through, and DB comes away with another rebound. That's his fourth. Point guard for the Golden Eagles rising in to pull down the defensive board, and that's what we need is the guards to get some of those rebounds on the offensive or defensive side to avoid giving up the offensive ones, especially with the size advantage that the wrestlers have, just a few more post players. Dilla Cruz will pick up a foul the other side as he's going to pick up his third, and Butler will step to the free throw line for two. Big, deep breath by Davion. And he notches home the first. The last four games, he scored at least 20 points for the Golden Eagles. Set a career high at Western Wyoming, a 25 last night. Said, all right, I'll one-up that one. Ended up with 27. Second free throw, no good as the ball bounces out. And the lead stays at 12, 56-44. Rebound, or ball tipped into the backcourt where King Solomon tracks it down. To the left, to the right, I should say. Marbury wings one through the lane. They'll keep it going to the wing and slipping one over the rim. Tate Hollins got his first triple of the game. If the Rustlers can start making some three-point baskets, they can make some hay back into this game. Although the Golden Eagles, they've got the chances to answer back. Ellery has that one just kick out of the rim. And with 15 minutes to go, Marbury gets out onto the run, blocked away by Ellery again on the inside as Davion Butler has the rebound scooped up. Ellery's got two blocks. Golden Eagles, though, turn the ball over. Solomon right side goes into the middle. Hollins keeps it going to the near side where Doug Maraboto leaves one up in the lane, floats it through. And Maraboto with his... First field goal of the game makes a seven-point contest, 56-49. You knew the wrestlers would go on a run. That wasn't the, the shock about all this stuff. It's can you keep this run limited if you are L trip? Bullock wants to drive, dribbles through double team, lays it in. He's lightning quick when he makes his motion to the hoop. He's got six points in the second half. L trip will see a step back from Solomon to answer back, and they're going to call the foul on EJ Scroggins, saying he did not give Solomon the place to land. And Coach Dwayne Salisbury, who's already been teed up by this official, staring a hole through his chest right now. For E.J. Scroggins, that's his second foul, second team foul. Reed will check in, see who he comes in for. If this is Bullock or if this is Scroggins, he's going to come in for Bullock as the first free throw good for Solomon. He's got two more to go. Chance to get it back to a six-point game if he can make all three of these, and he makes the next one. He's gone five of seven at the free throw line, taking advantage of his trips. It's given him 11 points. This is for 12. The other points have come from three-point makes for him. And that one good, too. So three for three on the trip. Solomon's got six points in the game. It's 58-52 with 14-11 to go. And the Golden Eagles do make that sub now as Reed does make his way onto the court. Scroggins will stay on. Bullock with three fouls takes a seat. Reed tries to push the pace. De La Cruz gets in front of him. Now Butler slows it down and calls out the play. 
Guarded tightly on the outside. He'll do a blow by. Kicks to the corner where Ree lines up a triple. That bounces long. Picked up by Hollins. He'll outlet deep underneath the basket. The ball is going to be popcorned outside, and Warren will slow the pace down for the Rustlers. They can make this a one-possession game with a three ball here. They've continued to just whittle back into this one. And after being down by 21, have outscored the Golden Eagles by 15 since that game high. Make it 17 since that game high. It's a four-point game as De La Cruz has eight points in the second half. 58-54, media timeout coming on the next one. But De La Cruz wants more before that. Gets the steal all the way to the hoop, lays it up and in. And the foul as the Rustlers sophomore out of Canada with a steal and a strike for a potential three-point play. And Butler picks up the foul, his second of the game. 13 foul, media timeout taken. We'll take it with them. 13-13 to go here in the second half. It's a two-point game on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Welcome back out to Story Gymnasium. 13-13 left to go in the second half of action. 58-56, the Rustlers have trimmed it back. A 12-0 run by the Rustlers. And that free throw good makes it a one-point game. 58-57. Butler brings it forward into the lane. He's going to be fouled, held onto on the floor. 13.05 left to go as the foul goes on Dela Cruz. That's going to be his fourth. He's been kind of that spark plug for the Rustlers here in this half. So that's a big loss for the Rustlers to have to take a seat on the bench, see if the Golden Eagles can take advantage of his defensive presence being on the bench. Inbound from Butler. Scroggins will take it, extended from the right block. Spin move into the lane, leaves it off the side of the rim, nearly tipped up and in by one of the rustlers. Scroggins gets the rebound again, and he's going to put that one in. He's got six in the game, lead back up to three. King Solomon with the basketball. Goes right. He'll kick it to the corner. Three ball bottomed out again, and we're tied. Twelve and a half to go, 60 all. With 12.35 left as that one dropped home by Doug Muraboto. And this is the big difference between the two halves has been some of those role players making some shots, opening things up as Warren steals the ball away from a Davion Butler pass. And up the court, he gets walked into a foul by Jordan Reed. Jordan picks up his first, I believe, fourth team foul. Free throws for Warren, which could give the Rustlers the lead with 12-15 remaining. Nine turnovers right now for Central Wyoming. Deep breath. And the first one good. Rustlers, for the first time, have the lead in the second half. First time that they've had the lead in the game. They have, to their credit, climbed back into this contest with a barrage of good play. Ellery pulls down the rebound on the missed shot on the second free throw, and the Golden Eagles will bring it up with Jordan Reed taking the point. Waves everyone off. As Butler subbed into on the court, I believe Abdullah Muhammad, the big, no, excuse me, that is 
Bullock, who's the substitution. Foul called on the way up the court for Reed. It's two free throws coming up for Jordan to try and give the ball back as Duca Maribota picks up his first. Fifth team foul against the Rustlers. Slower pace to the game right now as both teams kind of trying to figure things out and a little bit more contact being called as Reed can't hit the front end, just a bit too strong. Golden Eagles just two of four from the line here in the second half. And last couple of games, they've really cleaned up a lot of those free throw issues, but got to keep that momentum going as Reed does make the second free throw. Ties us back up at 61. Need a defensive stop here if you're all trip. Up top, Warren with the basketball. Goes right side, Solomon trying to dance past Bullock. Now backs it up near the half-court stripe. Phoenix follows him out that way. Solomon gets a screen, pulls up for three, rattles out. Underneath the basket, Reed just can't get two hands onto the basketball. And as he was hounded for the ball by Engel, it goes off of Reed's leg and back over to the Rustlers. Engel didn't want to give up on that one as he was the only other one in the area for it. And it will be Warren to start the action. Rustlers still a chance to go back in front as they get it out to Marbury. They've been hitting on all cylinders in this second half. It's a Rustlers team that's feeling like they can make a run at the Region 9 title. Three ball up and off the front of the rim. No good. Angle gets the offensive putback, though, and settles it over. 63 to 61. L Trip trailing by two. And again, this is the first time or the first minutes that the Rustlers have had the lead in the game as a travel wanted by the rustlers reed can't make the shot anyways and the ball pulled down by solomon 11.05 to go solomon backs the ball away he'll try and drive to the left side abdullah muhammad stays with him and fights the ball out of bounds good defense by abdullah to force the ball to be stripped out of solomon's hands roberts will sub back on they want to match the 610 with the 610 Julian Roberts out of, make sure I get this one right, Phoenix, Arizona. I'll see a timeout taken. L Triple C wants to take it. We'll take it as well. Back with more after this on L Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. Golden Eagle basketball, no, excuse me, Rustler basketball. So we welcome you back out to Story Gymnasium after the timeout. It'll be King Solomon to inbound the basketball from the baseline. Deep ball goes to Roberts. All alone, Marbury screamed for the ball. Roberts couldn't find him. Marbury now gets it extended from the three-point line. He'll pull up at the free throw line himself. Bounces one hard off the front of the rim. Rebound bounces right to Cutting Hollins, though. He'll get the ball back. Three ball skips off and Scroggins there for the rebound. He's now got eight boards in the game as he jogs it up the left side. Pulls up from 19. Swims one around the rim. Rebound tipped a couple of times. Last touch by Muhammad inside. And it'll be a rustler pickup for the basketball. Solomon will bring this one forward as he takes the point. Rustlers, now that they've taken the lead, you can tell they're just trying to settle down their offense and start running things a little bit more patiently on their side of the ball. A 
Bulldogs trying to get into those frantic pushes down the court unless they have the champ for tunes to run, although that settles things down into a steal for E.J. Scroggins, who lays one up and in to even things back up on the scoop and score. E.J.'s got his third steal of the game to go four assists and eight points. Also has those eight rebounds. It's tied up at 63. The wrestlers go right side. Marbury in the right corner. Looks into the paint, and Scroggins stays with him. Ball to Roberts, goes halfway down. That's no good. And this time, Jordan Reed able to slip away with his first rebound of the game. Finds Muhammad, can't get the shot to fall. They're going to call the foul on Roberts, though, and Abdullah's got an opportunity at the line. Abdullah already with 15 points in the game, had 12 at the half, can give the lead back to the Golden Eagles. He's been having one of his best games of his career for El Trip today. Six rebounds, an assist, a block, and 15 points to make it 16. And he's been cold-blooded at the line. Six of eight for the big man from Massachusetts. Make it seven and nine for Abdullah Muhammad. Notches that one through as well. L Triple C leading by two, 65-63. Keep this momentum rolling if you're a Golden Eagle fan. Dilla Cruz subs back onto the court, playing with four fouls, misses the three. Rebound picked up by Phoenix Bullock. Now he'll slow the pace down as we tick towards nine minutes. Bullock drives, lays up, rolls around. Foul's going to be called again, and I think Roberts is going to get another one. He's got his hands on his head going, what did I do? And Roberts does get back-to-backs as Bullock gets a trip to the line. He scored six already in the second half as Phoenix Bullock. It was after a quiet first half where he was in some foul trouble, had three fouls in the first half. He's spent more time on the court, and that usually will result in more offense coming for you as he makes the first of two. Free throws helping to spread the Golden Eagles back out in front. See if he can make this one to push him up by four again. And he does. Free throws. The difference right now, 67-63 with 9.08 to go. As the ball is sent outside the three-point line by the Rustlers. Marbury drives in against E.J. Scroggins, kicks to De La Cruz. He'll spin, gets the space on Bullock, reverse layup up and in. That was just a fancy move by De La Cruz that... That's going to fool a lot of people. Showed his quickness there. He's got some speed. Only 5'10", but man, does he have some ball handling skills. Three by Ellery trying to answer back. No good. Rebound nearly tipped up and in. And the second chance pulled down by Julian Roberts after Muhammad couldn't quite get his first tip up to go. De La Cruz, step back, waits for Muhammad to get up into the air. That pulls things out to Roberts. Roberts back out to De La Cruz. His three ball no good, and Warren has the rebound tipped away from him as it's Jordan Reed to come back down the court. Finds Ellery. Down to eight minutes to go as Bullock tries the three. That one sees an unkind rim, spin it out. King comes away with the rebound. Up ahead to Marbury, who doesn't slow down on his way all the way in for the scoop and the score. And Marbury... Fouled on the play, has a chance to answer back with a three-point play of his own. And how about this? That's his first bucket of the second half. He had 11 of the first 22 points for the wrestlers since then, has not scored until this moment. Makes it 67-67. You get the feeling this one's not going to be an easy one to come away with for the win by either team. And the way things are going down to the wire in this one. Free throw is good, makes it 68-67, and the Rustlers go back in front with another lead change. That's 14 points now for Marbury. Davion Butler calls out the play. Gives off to EJ Scroggins up top. Drive left, laid up, Scroggins settles that one through. Nice attack by EJ, he's got 10. Hits double figures, there's another Golden Eagle to crack that mark. Central looking to try and build on the back-to-back -back wins. They lost to Gillette College, 108-98 in Riverton, then 
Got the 71-59 win in Torrington last night. As the foul goes against the Golden Eagles. And the wrestlers will see Davion Butler pick up his third foul, sixth team foul. So bonus free throws coming up after that for the wrestlers. Or on the next foul, I should say. Inbounds play goes deep to Marbury. Finds Roberts inside of the paint. Double team forms. He travels with the basketball and he's going to give a baffled look to the officials before handing it off to the baseline on the turnover. Reed gets it to Bullock. Butler now pushes the pace. Finds Ellery. Open three on the left wing. Holds the pose. Can't get it to go. And Scroggins goes up over the top. And I think EJ just got called for the foul rising up. No, they're going to get this on Warren. I thought it might be on EJ, but they say EJ had position. Warren backed his way in. So that'll be free throws coming up for EJ Scroggins, one and once. By the way, this is an important game right now in conference play. Golden Eagles sitting at three and four. Central Wyoming at four and three. You win this one, the Golden Eagles move into a tie with Western Wyoming and Central Wyoming at 500 in the conference for third place. Golden Eagles on their way to a possible tiebreaker with Western Wyoming as Scroggins can't hit the free throw. Clock starts back up. Still 69-68, Golden Eagles on top. Well, Tripp looking for that home game, and this one of those teams that they're fighting for that home game spot against. Marbury goes right side, pulls up, Banks it in, gets it to go, and the lead back in favor of the Rustlers as he's starting to feel his rhythm once again after he went silent for about 20 minutes. Butler driving up the court. He's going to get fouled. And a whistle blows between the two number zeros who are going to get separated, Doug and Maraboto and Davion Butler, I should say, number 10. We're going to hit the media timeout. That'll cool things up. We got one and ones coming up for Davion Butler out of the timeout break. When we come back, you're watching LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics here from Story Gymnasium. Davion Butler at the free throw line as we welcome you back out to Story Gymnasium. 70 to 69, the wrestlers in front. Butler has got 11 points in the game so far. Missed his last free throw, but gets back on to a new run as he notches that one home. Ties us up at 70 all. Both teams trading leads. As neither one seems to be able to, to hold on to that run. Butler's going to pick up the lead back for the Golden Eagles. 71-70. Under seven minutes to go as De La Cruz brings the ball forward. He'll dance his way to the right. Gets a screen from Roberts. They'll go down to Marbury. He scored all five of the last points for the wrestlers. And he goes against Scroggins. Scroggins tried to take the charge. The officials gave Marbury the benefit of the doubt. And he's going to get the lay-in. 72-71, six minutes and 15 to go as Butler goes straight to the hoop. He'll lay that one up and in past a reaching Roberts. Five points in the second half now for Davion Butler. 15 in the game. He'll set up defense on De La Cruz as the clock hits six minutes. De La Cruz gives to Roberts. 
Marbury with position inside, ball poked away by EJ Scroggins, but then a pass up ahead to EJ who is breaking free is gonna be stolen back again by the Rustlers and King Solomon hits the triple as the two sides traded the opportunities. Reed gets the ball over to the left side. Wants to attack, gets into the lane, feeds it to Scroggins again, spin move, back out to Reed, Jordan will rise, the lefty to answer back, cannot hit it. Solomon pulls down the board as the Rustlers trying to go for a two possession lead for only the second time in the game. Largest lead they had was 66, or excuse me, I believe 63-61, so trying for the largest lead they've had in the game. 75-73, Marbury stripped to the ball by E.J. Scroggins again. That's the fourth, fifth steal, excuse me, for Scroggins. And coming back up the court, a foul's going to be whistled against the Rustlers as Marbury gets his third foul and sends the Golden Eagles to the line for two. As that's double bonus, E.J. Scroggins it was around 50% on the season at the line, has the attempts here. Love to make both, but you just got to get one out of this trip. You don't want empty possessions if you're the Golden Eagles right now. And the free throw on the front end is good. Scroggins up to 11 points. L trip with... Three in double figures right now. Daniels and Ellery and Bullock all sitting with nine. Second free throw also good as that makes it 75 all. All evened up here at Story Gym. Under five minutes to play. This one anyone's game right now. De La Cruz gives it to Roberts up top. Backdoor cut by Solomon though is going to leave him wide open. And King Solomon, he's got himself another two to go with the three that he just hit. And he's got 11 second half points. Golden Eagles can't answer back as the ball picked up underneath the basket by Marbury who says, hey, slow the pace down. They're going to take a timeout. We will as well. 4.32 to go back after this on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Four and a half left as we welcome you back out to LCCC. Golden Eagles love Marbury doing the inbounding for the Rustlers as they set up on defense, trying to avoid going down by two possessions. For the last five minutes, the other team's been able to push ahead by more than one possession. They've traded leads multiple times in that stretch as Solomon's going to get a delayed whistle to send him to the free throw line as they say that Jordan Reed got called for the foul. Solomon sees Reed pick up his second. That's bonus free throws the rest of the way. It should be two free throws. And that will be the case. Free throw is good on the front end. A three-point lead now the biggest of the game for the Rustlers. They're looking to try and break this one open. L Triple C sees them go up 79-75. As I said, their largest lead, Golden Eagles' largest lead of 21 in the first half. Rustlers, though, closed it on a 9-0 run that carried to a 12-0 run into the second half of play. 
They finished out that with a 12 to three run to end up bringing themselves into the lead as Scroggins goes inside looking for the foul call, doesn't get it, and he's gonna see the Rustlers come back with a chance to make it a six or seven point game. And the way they've been shooting in this second half, you, you don't count it against them. They've already hit six threes. Roberts gets inside, backs his way against Muhammad. Good defense played by the big man, but just a good shot by Roberts who goes over the top and it's 81-75. Three and a half to go. Scroggins looks behind him. Waits for Solomon to flash by. Now they give it to Ellery. Need a basket here if you're the Golden Eagles. Abdullah Muhammad inside. That's the guy to go to. He's had the best game so far. He's fouled on the way up, and he's going to step to the stripe as he's going to have two more free throws to come. Roberts picks up his fourth foul on the play. And now if you're Muhammad, you got to keep up that good shooting that you've had so far in the second half. And he does. He's now 8 of 10 at the line. It's nice when your big man is putting up great numbers at the stripe. And he has really gotten more and more comfortable with getting to the line and really more and more comfortable taking a load inside. Makes the next one as well. Back-to-back -back makes for Abdullah Muhammad. He's got seven points in the second half, five of those from the free throw line. He's a perfect five of five in the second half. Four-point lead, though, for the Rustlers. Now, those free throws were big. You need a defensive stop even bigger as De La Cruz takes it to the baseline, gives it back out to Roberts for three, and that's good. When the 6'10 man from... Central Wyoming is dropping home threes. That's a tough thing to stop. 77 to 84, Golden Eagles down by the biggest amount they've been in the game as the layup by Jordan Reed is going to be sent over the top of the rim and another rebound to Marbury. Gives to De La Cruz with 2.40 to go. Steps across the timeline. This Phoenix Bullock getting set to sub back onto the court. See who he comes on to the court for. As the Golden Eagles, right now, the bigger thing they're worried about is the defense. Rustler's just pulling away steadily, much like you saw the Golden Eagles do in the first half as Marbury nearly gets the friendly roll to settle through, but a rebound scooped up by Muhammad for his eighth. Rustler's have to get back in a hurry as they can't get the, the corner for Reed, but his three ball doesn't drop through, and it stays a seven-point lead for Central Wyoming. L. Tripp just 32 points in the second half right now after putting up 45 in the first. And we've got a timeout taken by Central Wyoming with 2.01 to go. And we'll take the timeout as well. Back after this on L. Triple C Golden Eagle Athletics. Golden Eagle boys, men I should say, stepping back out onto the court with 2.01 to go into a position where they need to find a turnover or a defensive stop on this play with 18 on the shot clock. De La Cruz gets the inbounds play. Final two minutes, De La Cruz tries to drive, pulls up, fades away, and settles it through. Nice shot make there by De La Cruz. He has come alive in the second half to the tune of 14 of his 15 points. Scroggins goes into the lane. He'll fight one up off the front of the rim. Second chance, no good either. And another rebound underneath by Roberts is going to secure the ball for the Rustlers. Scroggins just got a couple unfriendly rolls there trying to go up amongst the trees. 
Inside Marbury goes back behind, and Roberts floats one through. It's now an 11-point lead for the Rustlers. Roberts with nine second-half points after he had 12 in the first half. Three ball by Bullock. That answers back. And it's eight-point game as Bullock able to bury it from the left wing. It's 1-13 left in the game. Golden Eagles needing stops as we come back on LCCC Golden Eagle Athletics. Quick timeout by L Triple C is they just wanted to avoid letting Central Wyoming get on the run. Let's them set up their half court press or full court press rather. So they'll send four up into the backcourt. It'll be Marbury to start the action on the inbounds play. De La Cruz and Solomon, the two options to get it to. They get it to De La Cruz. Float to the near side as Marbury. Wings it up ahead to Solomon, and he's going to just sit on it. Why wouldn't you with where you're sitting at? They foul him with 104 left to go, and that's going to be the eighth team foul as Pedro Ellery picks up his, I believe, first. That is just his first. Solomon to the line where he has made 7 of 10. And gets the front end of the two here. One more coming up as he makes it 89-80. And the second free throw misses. Ball up the court by Phoenix Bullock. He'll try and attack quickly, gets into the lane, can't get the shot, was looking for the contact. Marbury pulls down the rebound and the clock winds. Down to 50 seconds, Marbury spins to his right. Nine-point lead for the Rustlers right now. Looks like the Golden Eagles are just going to settle to play tight defense. Marbury cuts into the lane and guards the ball to Roberts. Throwing away a sixth steal of the game for E.J. Scroggins. He'll take this one up, lays it in. Clock stops with 34 seconds to go. They'll inbound it once again as Marbury brings it forward, and he's going to get fouled by E.J. Scroggins from behind. EJ picks up his third. 89-82, and that's, as I said, Marbury stepping to the line. He's only taken one free throw today. As he will direct some traffic. Now steps to the line, right-handed shooter. Gets it to go. That's 90 points now for the Rustlers. Eight in the second half for Marbury, who makes this one, would have 20 in the game. And he does that. 91-82 with 30 seconds to go. Scroggins gets the inbounds play. He'll push. Goes inside of the lane. And lays it off the side of the rim. Muhammad with the offensive rebound. Looked back to see if he could get a foul call. Officials say no. De La Cruz backs the ball out. And with the shot clock off, the Rustlers are going to come away with the win as they will take down the season sweep of the Golden Eagles with a win at Story Gym. 91 to 82, the final of this one, as the Golden Eagles will look to try and figure things out when they get back home next week. A matchup coming up for the Golden Eagles here on the home court against, I believe, Eastern Wyoming. That'll be coming up on Saturday afternoon. Hope to see you there as we will be back on air then. But until then, thanks again for tuning in. This has been Golden Eagle Athletics here on LCCC.